guys ready? We're going to read A Bad Case of Stripes by David Shannon. Which I think, didn't we already read this? Maybe, maybe not. <coughs> Sorry. Cover your mouth, Nick. I did, I covered it with your body. Don't do that. Don't get me germs. Yeah, I will. Pretty sure you already got all my germs, bud. Alright. Camilla Cream loved lima beans, but she never ate them. All of her friends hated lima beans, and she wanted to fit in. Camilla was always worried about what other people thought of her. Today, she was fretting even more than usual. It was the first day of school, and she couldn't decide what to wear. There were so many people to impress, she tried on 42 outfits, but none seemed quite right. She put on a pretty red dress and looked in the mirror, and then she screamed. Her mother ran into the room and screamed too. Oh my heavens, she cried. You're completely covered with stripes. That was certainly true. Camilla was striped from head to toe. Miss Cream felt Camilla's forehead. Do you feel Do you feel all right? She asked. I feel fine, Camilla answered. Oh, just look at me. You got to You get back in bed this instant, her mother ordered. You're not going to school today. Camilla was relieved. She didn't want to miss the first day of school, but she was afraid of what other kids would say. And she had no idea what to wear with those crazy stripes. Yeah, you showing them my phone? Put my phone back over here. Go. I'm both in the middle. Alright, now the doctor's coming. That afternoon, Dr. Bumble came to examine Camilla. Most extraordinary, he explained. I've never seen anything like it. Are you having any coughing, sneezing, running nose, aches, pains, chills, hot flashes, dizziness, dryness, shortness of breath, or uncontrollable twitching? No, Camilla told him. I feel fine. Well then, Mr. Rumble said, turning to Miss Cream. I don't see any reason why she shouldn't go to school tomorrow. Here's some ointment that should help clear up those stripes in a few days. If it doesn't, you know where to reach me. And off he went. The next day was a disaster. Oh, this book's floppy. The next day was a disaster. Everyone at school laughed at Camilla. They called her Camilla Crayon and Knight of the Living Lollipop. She tried her best to act as if everything were normal, but when the class said the Pledge of Allegiance, her stripes turned red and white and blue and she broke out into stars. Hi, Daddy. The other kids thought this was great. One yelled, Let's get some purple polka dots! Sure enough, Camilla turned up all purple polka dots. Ready. Someone shouted, Checkerboard! And a pattern of squares covered her skin. Um. Yeah. Don't hit any buttons, you silly baby. Yeah. Come back over here. Soon everyone was calling out different shapes and colors, and poor Camilla was changing faster than you can change channels on a television.
that night, Mr. Harms, the school principal, called. I'm sorry, Miss Cream, he said. I'm going to have to ask you to keep Camilla home from school. She's just too much of a distraction, and I'm getting calls from the other parents. They're afraid those stripes may be contagious. Camilla was so embarrassed. She couldn't believe that two days ago everyone liked her. Now nobody wanted to be in the same room with her. Her father tried to make her feel better. Is there anything I can do for you, sweetheart? <laughs> <laughs> he asked. <laughs> no, thank you, sighed Camilla. What she really wanted was a nice plate of lima beans. She had been laughed at enough for one day. It's her parents. That's what I imagine her dad sounds like. Look at the guy. <laughs> That's what he sounds like. <laughs> I love you too, baby. Alright, now there's going to be a bunch of people coming and poking and prodding her. More scientists and doctors. Hmm, well, yes, I see, Mr. Bumble mumbled when Mr. Cream phoned the next day. I think I'd better bring in the specialists. We'll be right over. About an hour later, Mr. Bumble arrived with four people in long, white coats. <laughs> coats. <laughs> he introduced them to the creams. <laughs> this is Mr. Guap, Miss Dr. Sponge, and Dr. Cricket, and Dr. Young. Then the specialists went to work on Camilla. They squeezed and jabbed and tapped and tested. It was very uncomfortable. Well, it's not the mumps, concluded Mr. Grop. Or the measles, said Mr. Sponge. Definitely not the chicken pox, said Mr. Cricket. Or sunburn, said Dr. Young. Try these, said the specialists. They each handed her a bottle filled with different colored pills. Take one, take one of each before bed, said Mr. Grop. That's enough, Allie. Allie, that's enough. Then they filled out the filed out the front door, followed by Dr. Bumble. That night, Camilla took her medicine. It was awful. Then she woke up the next morning. She did not feel different. She did feel different. But when she got dressed, her clothes didn't fit right. She looked in the mirror, and there, staring back at her, was a giant, multicolored pill with her face on it. It looks terrible. Yeah. Yeah, she looks like a giant pill, doesn't she? And she looks like a... Yeah, that's, that's the medicine inside of her. Dr. Bumble rushed over as soon as Mrs. Cream called, but this time, instead of the specialist, he brought the experts. Uh-oh, that sounds ominous. Mr. Gord and Mr. Mellon were the finest scientific minds in the land. Once again, Camilla was poked and prodded, looked at and listened to. The experts wrote down a lot of numbers, and then they huddled together and whispered. Dr. Gord finally spoke. It must be be a virus, he announced with authority. Suddenly, fungy little virus balls appeared all over Camilla. Uh, or possibly some sort of bacteria, said Mr. Mullen. Out pop squiggly little bacteria tails. Or it could be a fungus, added Mr. Gord. Instantly, Camilla was covered with different colored fungus blotches. The experts looked at Camilla, then at each other. We need to go over these numbers back at the lab, Mr. Dr. Ford, and Dr. Ford explained. We'll call you when we know something. The experts didn't have a cue, clue, much less a cure. They don't look like they have it together, do they? Oh, now you want to listen to the book, just because you want to be on camera, huh? 
By now, the TV news had found out about Camilla. Reporters from every channel were outside of her house telling the stories of the bizarre case of the incredible changing kid. We're doing this one right now. We'll do that one tomorrow night. No. And the same video? No. Such a huge crowd was camped out on the front lawn. Oh, there's the picture for that one. Oh, look. It's crazy TV reporters. Actually, and this picture. Crazy. Get out of the way, Ellie. We're doing a story. That's very rude. Nobody wants to look at that right now. They're tuned in for a story. You do it again, you get in a timeout. The creams were swamped with all kinds of remedies from psychologists, allergists, herbalists, nutritionists, physicists, and old medicine man, a guru, and even a veterinarian. Each so-called cure only added to poor Camilla's strange appearance until it was hard to even recognize her. She sprouted roots and berries and crystals and feathers and long furry tail, but nothing worked. Until... You put the baby back on the chair. <laughs> No, the other girl just screamed in my ear. Stella. <laughs> you, Stella. <laughs> One day, a woman who called herself an environmental therapist claimed she could cure Camilla. Close your eyes, she said. Breathe deeply no. and become one no. with become one with your room. <laughs> Find that and turn it off for me, please. I wish you hadn't said that, Camilla groaned. Slowly, she started to melt into the walls of her room. She became, the bed became her mouth, her nose was a dresser, and two paintings were her eyes. The therapist screamed and ran from the house. What are you, what are we going to do, cried Miss Cream. It just keeps getting, oh, I'm sorry, I forgot to do the voice, didn't I? What are we going to do, cried Miss Cream. It just keeps getting worse and worse. She began to sob. Here's, here's uh, Camilla as a room. At that moment, Mr. Cream heard a quiet little knock on the front door. He opened it, and there stood an old woman who was just as plump and sweet as a strawberry. Excuse me, she said brightly, but I think I can help. She looks like a sweet old lady, doesn't she? Yeah, come over here, sit down. I got something for you, Gigi. Look, we got a book. We're almost done. She went into Camilla's room and looked around. My goodness, my goodness, she said with a shake of her head. What we have here is a bad case of stress. One of the worst I've ever seen. A container of small green, she pulled a container of small green beans from her bag. Here, here, she said. These might do the trick. Are those magic, are those magic beans? Asked Miss Cream. Oh no, oh my no, replied the kind old woman. There's no such thing. They're just plain old lima beans. I'll bet you'd like some. Wouldn't you? She asked Camilla. Camilla wanted a big, heaping plate full of lima beans more than anything, and she was just still afraid to admit it. Yuck, she said. No one likes lima beans, especially me. Oh, dear, the old woman said, sadly. I guess I was wrong about you. She put the beans back in her bag and started towards the door. Camilla watched the old woman walk away. Those beans would have tasted so good. And... Being laughed at for eating was nothing compared to what she'd been going through. She finally couldn't stand it. Wait! She cried. The truth is, I love, I really love lima beans. I thought so, the old woman said with a smile. She took a handful of beans and popped them into Camilla's mouth. Mmm, said Camilla. No. Here's the old woman feeding the room lima beans. Oh, you okay, Gigi? Yeah, don't don't touch my my screen, please. You're a milk fish. 
Suddenly, the branches, feathers, squiggly tails began to disappear. Then the whole room swirled around. When it stopped, there stood Camilla. Gigi, come here and sit down. Be silly, baby. I am cured, she shouted. Yes, said the old woman. I knew the real you was in there somewhere. She patted Camilla on the head. Then she went outside and vanished into the crowd. There's a picture of Camilla turning back into a normal little girl. I'm on the other side. You're on this side? This is you? No. What are you talking about then? Okay. <laughs> Afterward, Camilla wasn't quite the same. Some of the kids at school said she was weird and she didn't care a bit. She ate all the lima beans she wanted and she never even had touched a stripes again. This is one of the longer stories that we've read and here's the final page for you. There's Camilla. Uh, now, there you go, guys. Good job. Fantastic reading. Another video. You want to do another video? All right, we'll make another video. Um, uh, what are we supposed to say after this? Make sure you like the videos and subscribe. Bye. Bye. Make sure you say goodbye. 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 Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Bye. All right. That's enough being cute for one day.